close your eyes and focus your attention on your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing. And notice if long breathing feels good. If, if it does, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change the rhythm. Make it shorter, or even more deeper, even deeper, shallower, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to find a rhythm and texture of breathing that feels good right now. So the mind can have a place to stay in the present moment. And it can gather together right here. Otherwise it gets scattered all over the place. And when the mind is scattered, it doesn't have any strength. From the time it comes to do something difficult, all the different members of the, the team are off in different places. And it's hard to accomplish anything very much. But if all the members of the team are together and then there's something you need to lift, you can lift it. something you need to pull, you can pull it. In other words, when you've got all your attention right here, then if something comes up that's unskillful in the mind, you know how to resist it. Or if laziness comes up in the mind and doesn't want to do something that's really good, okay, you can resist that too. It's when you're not giving things your full attention that you end up doing a lot of unskillful things. Partly because you don't notice what's happening and partly because you simply don't have the strength. So when we gather the mind together in one like this, it gives it strength, and at the same time puts it in a position where you can see clearly what's happening inside. So when an urge comes up, you can learn how to read it to see where it's going, and then decide whether you want to, it's really worth going with or not. And because you're coming from a position of well-being, it's a lot easier to say no to things that are not skillful. So this is how we train the mind. Give it a good place to stay, and then watch it. See what other other things are going to come in, disturb it, and you give the full strength of your attention here to what's happening. It gives you the full strength to make the right effort to give rise to things like compassion, and goodwill, where otherwise you might be just thinking in terms of greed or anger. This way, you benefit, and your mind is a much better place to stay. And it's creating a better world for yourself and a better world for the people around you. It says meditation is a good practice to do every day, every day, to keep your mind in line and to give it the strength it needs in order to build the life that you really think is worth living. <laughs>